Another game, another win for the Columbus East Olympians. Hello, I'm Luke Martin, and I'm here to break down the Columbus East romp or the Seymour Owls Friday evening. The Olympians continued their dominance as the number one team in 4A football as they beat Seymour 45-14. to It was a total dominance game for the Columbus East Olympians. As in the football game, Dusty Keel was, had seven carries for 61 yards on the ground and through the air, Dusty was 16 of 19 for four touchdowns and 232 yards. When you look at his partner in crime, Deweese Wilson, eight receptions for 161 yards and three touchdowns. And also Nick Olds had three receptions for 29 yards and a touchdown as well. The offense was very impressive, but when you look at the defense, they were also even more impressive as they held quarterback Chad Moore, who went all over the Columbus North defense. He was only 4 of 12 for two yards through the air, and also he had six receptions for 90, I'm sorry, six carries for negative five yards on the ground, and the Olympian defense just stifled that prolific Seymour offense that really just dominated Columbus North two weeks earlier, and also they beat Jeffersonville the week earlier. So this was a confident Seymour team coming in the Columbus East High School thinking they could compete and maybe even come out with a victory against Columbus East, but that sure did not happen Friday evening. You know, being ranked number one is really tough, and to see how the Olympian players and the Olympian coaches have treated this, they have treated it very well, better than I have seen some college teams do it when they have been ranked number one. When you are ranked number one, you are going to get every team's best shot from here until you get that 4A state championship trophy, and they've done a great job. At the end of this preview, I just want to thank Deweese Wilson and Dusty Keel for allowing me to interview them, as you can see on the post-game interviews. Uh, Deweese and Dusty are great players, and let alone they are great people as well. They are class acts on and off the football field, and I just want to take time to thank them for allowing me to interview them and keep updating with them throughout the year as it goes on. They are great football players, and they are going to IU, which is not necessarily my favorite team, but deep down inside my golden black Purdue heart, I will always have a place for Dusty Keel and Deweese Wilson in the IU football program, but it's very tiny. That's it. I'm Luke Martin for Town Divided. That's the breakdown of the Columbus D. Seymour game.